hey guys how's it going so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to calculate the value of a cosine series using a c program and in this tutorial we'll be using the infinite series so um, whenever you are you know using a language or a programming language then you must have been just simply using the you know the function cos or cosine to get the value of the cosine function However, you must have maybe wondered sometimes like how is your computer even calculating that? Like how is it giving you that value? So in case you have ever wondered about that, then the answer is that, that it is using an infinite cosine series. So if you are familiar with mathematics, then you must know that every uh, you know, single one of these uh, useful functions like cosine, exponential, tangential, log, etc. can be expanded in terms of a series. So we have, you know, such an expansion for the cosine series that is, it is 1 minus x squared by 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 factorial minus x to the power 6 by 6 factorial and so on. So we'll be making use of this series to write this program to evaluate the infinite cosine series. So the first thing that we'll be needing is we'll be needing the ratio of the successive terms. And by the way, uh, you know, this is a blog post that I have written on my you know blog that is braidoff.com so i'll be you know leaving the link to it in the description down below so that you can refer to it later on or maybe if you have some confusion then you can just uh, you know check it out so coming back to the tutorial so we'll be needing the ratio of the successive terms so we'll calculate that using ti by ti minus one so we are indexing our terms from zero so this is t0 t1 t2 and so on so ti by ti minus 1 means that i will start from 1 because we cannot go anything below than t0 so if i is 1 then we have t0 here and then we have t1 here so if you calculate that then you will find out that ti by ti minus 1 can be written as minus x squared by 2i times 2i minus 1 so it is pretty easy to derive i mean you just take the ratio of this t1 term with the t0 term then you take a ratio of the t2 term with the t1 term and then you f try to find some you know relation and it will be pretty obvious if you do it so now that we have the ratio of these you know successive terms then you can evaluate the successive terms of the series that is if you you know the first term that is t0 then you can calculate the t1 term by just multiplying it by r so you just multiply t0 by r then you to calculate the t2 that is the third term you just multiply the second term by the ratio and so on so we'll be using this concept in our program now my blog post already has this program and output and all posted here but let me just go ahead and you know type it out for you guys and walk you through it so head over to your favorite editor or IDE for C language and then just start your C program by including some of the useful files that is the input output library header file and then in, we'll be needing the math library also so just go ahead and you know include that and then we will create a function called let's say cosine I'm not sure if we can use that function but let's just try it anyway so we'll create a function cosine of the type double and it will take up a single parameter that is x which is again of the type double then what we need to do is we need to declare another variable called t0 that is the first term and we will initialize it as one because we already know that the first term in the series is one so just let me you know adjust this window right here so we have initialized the first term as one then we will declare a few more variables like t1 that would be for the next term then the r for the ratio and then sum which would store the sum of the series and we will initialize the sum as t0 so basically currently sum holds the value one because one is the first term now just go ahead and start a do while loop and what you do now is you enter the ratio that is minus x squared divided by twice of i let me just put that into braces times two i of i minus one twice of i minus one 
and then another brace okay so now let me just make sure that my parentheses are complete i'm not sure if they are called braces so i guess the correct word is parentheses i always get them mixed up anywho so okay so now we have into the ratio and then we will use this ratio to calculate the next term that would be r times t0 and then okay i made a type over here let me just rectify that okay now you make sum equal to sum that is the first term plus this new term and then what you do is basically you make t1 or t0 equal to t1 and then you increment i by 1 and uh, well that's it i guess that would do and then you go ahead and enter the while condition that would be fabs t1 by sum while this ratio is greater than zero point whatever the accuracy is that you desire so in my case i'm looking at an accuracy of one two three four five six seven seven decimal places which is pretty accurate so let me just uh, you know explain this while part of the program again because i am not sure if i did it before so you know while calculating infinite series the problem is that you are facing is that you do not know that up till how many terms you need to you know add the series like do you end it at 100 at 200 or like you add up a thousand terms or do you add up a million terms you don't know that so a cool way to you know solve that problem is to talk in terms of accuracy that is what you are doing right now is you are seeing or you are checking to see if the next term that you have evaluated if that you know divided by some or maybe if that term is you know it makes up a significant difference to the sum or not so what you're checking to see is if this new term that we just evaluated is it you know significantly large to contribute anything to the sum or r series sum so that is the condition all right so we'll be using that condition in our program and then we will be just you know entering the main part of the program and we'll be you know asking the user to enter some x for which he desires the cosine and then we will just scan that real quickly percent lf for double m percent x okay so i should rather de declare x here and then scan that and then just print f percent lf comma what do you want cosine of x all right so this program should you know ask the user about to enter some x value and then you should print its cosine so I'll just go ahead and save it and execute it so i'll just call it um, cosine right and then just okay so there's some error here so i okay i forgot to declare the variable i and i should declare it now okay so now another thing that i should explain here is that I already told you that we are indexing our terms from zero therefore i should take up a value from one so therefore i will initialize i from one right here so i forgot about that and i incremented it anyway i guess that is force of a muscular habit or something so just go ahead and run it again and hopefully it would work so you enter x now i know that cosine of zero is one so i'll just go ahead and enter zero and it didn't work okay so this is probably something wrong with the program and we should check it out although i'll like to run it once again and see what do we get for um 90 degrees i guess okay so for 90 also it is zero and okay okay i spotted the error it is basically a blunder on my part i forgot to return the sum that we are calculating so it is just stupid on my part i'm really sorry about that so this is a function cosine should return the value of the cosine of x and i forgot to the return part which is absolutely stupid of me so just execute the program again and enter zero and there it is so you get the value one 
execute it again and for 180 degrees I know that it is minus 1 so again we ran into some sort of a problem here so let me just check it out if it works I mean like for what values does this work so we know that it works for 0 then for 30 degrees the answer is 0.15 let me just check that up with some calculator okay so 30 cosine is 0.86 okay so the program is still not working as it should so there's something wrong with it still so we are starting our i from 1 we have initialized the first term we have the ratios we have the t1 time it is t0 times r sum is equal to sum plus t1 okay, let me just go ahead and real quickly compare it with the already written part of the program so we have here I'm not sure if the ratio part is entirely correct so it seems all right to me right now minus x squared by twice of i minus 1 times twice of i then we have sum equals sum plus t1 t0 equals t1 i plus plus while fabs t1 by sum is greater than the desired accuracy and that's it so the program seems all right to me and uh, all right so let me just check it out for a few other values like 60 degree so there is something definitely wrong with the program but i'm not able to figure that out okay so let me just go ahead and all right so this is embarrassing okay so we have t1 oh, sum equals t0 and do while loop okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this ratio part from here maybe there's some syntactical problem because i'm not very familiar with the c language so let me just try to run it again and all right okay so i have rather spotted my error i think i know what's wrong with the program because if you look at this blog post and what you see is that i'm entering x in radians here so i'm entering the value 3.14 that is pi and then I'm getting the value minus 1 that is minus 0.99 so basically minus 1 so then I'm entering 1.57 which is basically pi by 2 and then I'm getting you know 0 0.000 that which is basically 0 up to 3 decimal accuracy so I guess I spotted the problem with the program that is it is calculating the cosine in radian so I think the program is absolutely correct so let me just go ahead and check out another run so this time i'll have my calculator out and i'll just switch it to radians this time okay so now we are in radian mode and then i will enter um something like what do you want like five okay so five the cosine of five is 0.28366 so let's see if our pro okay so what happened there okay five okay so now comparing it back with the calculator okay so we our program is working pretty good actually 2.283662 so that is a lot of accuracy and you can even increase that accuracy by just entering a bunch of zeros over here so now if you run the program and calculate it for some value of x like um, i'm not sure like 1.98 or something then you get this answer and let me just check that out with the calculator here so 1.98 cosine of that is minus 0.397879 which is absolutely correct so well that's it that's the program to evaluate the infinite cosine series using a c program i'm sorry that i wasn't really sure about what i was doing for some part of the program because i made a small blunder about not knowing whether we are entering the data in radians or decrease so that was a mistake on my part. I'm really sorry about that. You can check out this blog post for a really detailed analysis of this post. And there even I have calculated a plot.
that is I saved the data for a particular range of x values and then I plotted it using GNU plots so you can check that out thanks for watching and in case this video helped you out or you learned something from it then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day